So we're just going to quickly brainstorm the six areas of maths. Um, the first one is number. And this is typically what you would know as maths when you are younger, so in your primary years, uh, until you're introduced to uh, a few of the, the concepts. The main part of your maths is number. So that's things like 0 0.2 times by 0 0.2, uh, some bid mass or bod mass and those kinds of questions. The second area is algebra and that's solving equations like this and obviously more complicated ones as well. The third area is ratio, proportion and rates of change. So uh, there's lots of different types of questions that can come up in this, but I'm just going to give you a very ex easy example. So um, share 50 pounds into the ratio, ratio 2 to 3. Okay, something along those lines. The fourth area is geometry and measure. That's things like, you know, finding the area of a triangle, find the volume, very bad cuboid, or finding the volume of a cuboid, finding the area of a circle, and so on and so forth. Now, all of these differ, obviously, depending on whether you're doing foundation or higher, but the categories, number, algebra, ratio, proportion, geometry, measure, are all relevant. The fifth one is probability. And um, just to give you an example, it might be something like tree diagrams. I'm not going to fill one in, but things that look like that. And it usually has something like this, 0 0.7, 0 0.3. So both branches have to add up to one uh, because all probabilities add up to one and then so on and so forth. And the sixth category is statistics. So that's when you have to analyze data. Um, so a very simple one can be mean, median, mode, and range. It's important for you to do a lot of maths for your revision, but also for you to contribute to the category that you are weakest in. So every single person will have a category that they're probably not as strong in. So some people might be stronger in number than they are in geometry and measure because they forget the formulas all the time, or they might not like algebra, um, they might prefer statistics because it makes more sense to them. Everyone works slightly differently. It's just about you knowing where to focus your revision. But these are six categories that should help you to organize your revision. I'm going to upload a couple of more videos on this later on, but I hope this one helps you just to get started.